Students from UNC Chapel Hill, Duke University, and their supporters packed an Orange County courtroom. Six students arrested at pro-Palestinian protest went before a judge. CBS 17's Dina Harley joins us live now from outside of the courthouse. And Dina, what can you tell us? Yeah, hey, Bill and Liz, you can see some of those students and protesters still outside of the courthouse here behind me. They have been here all morning. Earlier today, they were inside of the courtroom showing support for those students. Here's what we know. We know that six students were arrested and they all have a court date coming up again in July. As prosecutors and defense teams today both said they need more time to look into these cases. Now, these students and supporters were inside of the courtroom, like I mentioned, as, judge, as the judge and attorneys on both sides spoke privately about the cases. Some supporters had signs out side of the courtroom saying drop the charges. You could see them here and that protesting is not a crime. Jalen Miller, she's an, uh, an attorney, excuse me, with Emancipate NC. She's representing the six students arrested. She said she couldn't tell us exactly what the judge said inside, but that the cases will be heard again on July 30th. The students were all arrested last month at that protest on UNC Chapel Hill's campus where organizers clashed with police for hours. Lawyers defending the students say they did not break the law and they were only exercising their right to protest. I think that this is a very critical moment for our country right now to make sure that we are um, standing by the First Amendment, even if there are views we don't necessarily agree with. Beautifully dressed for day like today. Now, again, those students do back in court on July 30th. Within the last hour, we got a statement from the students that were arrested. We're going to have that over for you on CBS17.com. In Orange County, Dina Harley, CBS17 News.